Hello you all. I am the Huntsman. I live in the forest. I live from the animals that I catch. What I don't eat myself, I sell to the people in the village because I want to extra provide for the only family member that I have left and that's my younger sister. You will meet her very soon but I don't know what this is all about. I don't know what a video or YouTube is. It's got something to do with image. I don't care about my image. I live in the woods anyway. But someone told me that I had to say if you want to see how I became this huntsman you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. Hello my sweet peas, I am going to try something today. As you can see my hair is very wild, there's a braid in it, it's not combed this wig, it's really really very wildly and she's really tangled up and stuff and I'm wearing a cat suit and I'm gonna be wearing other stuff too later on but what I'm gonna try to do today, and I have never done this before, is and these are actually permanent lash extensions. So this is actually a box full of all separate real lashes. So I've got a little jar with all brown hairs in it and I got a big jar with all black hairs in it. Now I even haven't opened them yet, so I don't know. Oh my god, that is so gross. Ah, I got chicken bumps all over just touching it. And I would like to try... Oh my god, the thought of it alone is terrible. <laughs> I want to be a man today, a very masculine huntsman. If you want to see how I normally do a man. You can watch my video where I did um, Brad Pitt. There I stippled on the beard and mustache area and I did a man in paint in several videos but for instance I did a blonde man with a beard with a small beard in Green Arrow but now I really want to try to make a huntsman with real hairs that I'm going to stick on with craft glue or a lash glue. I think craft glue because that is going to dry slower and be easier to take off later on. I'm going to take my foundation, apply that like I normally would. And it can be a little bit brown because it's a hunter, he hunts during daytime for deer, for pigs, for birds, anything he can eat and he can sell the skin or yeah, what do huntsmen do with their prey. I would think they sell it or eat it. And I start with normal foundation, but I want to have a little bit muddy strikes on later too, maybe. I, I don't have any idea what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just go with the flow. I'm going to start and we'll see where we get, okay? <laughs> we'll just see where we get. If this fails, I will show it too! Now a guy like this also needs brows. So with a brow pencil, I'm gonna start to make me wild brows. Larger than I would normally make them. I 
And I don't think a man really has a nice arch or so in his brows. It's gonna be an archer, but he's not gonna have arched brows. And I'm gonna set that the brown eyeshadow just with a fluffy brush so that the pencil is set and that the brows are less drawn. And I'm also gonna put an accent on my frown wrinkles there because men do have that and some wrinkles especially here around the eyes mostly from the sun as you see I squish my brush to do that I'm also gonna make my nose really wide instead of slimming it down I'm gonna make it wider and make a dark shade on the inner corner of my eye now I am going to take a very thin brush and with the same brown eyeshadow I'm going to fill in the wrinkles that I think that are masculine. I am not having any pictures. My husband just left, so I don't know anything. I just gotta go with my guts. So these wrinkles that I have naturally, I'm gonna accentuate and tab it out a little bit. Do a shade instead of a real line. I wish I didn't have those wrinkles. Yeah, when you're 74 years old, you cannot avoid to have wrinkles. Crow feet, wrinkles around the lips, it's all there. <laughs> I was making my nose wider too, but I'm rubbing that out a little with my finger so that it is more dirty, shining too, because it's a huntsman. They are not coming out of the bathtub, they are not very clean and neat. I'm already making lines here too. They don't mean that he is old, but he really had to live in the forest, but in the forest the sun shines through and you get sunburn. You know, filthy, dirty. I'm also bringing a line underneath the eye, but I am leaving half a centimeter open. I'm also going to deepen the creases of my eye with a little line because we're not going to make a nice eyeshadow. And I'm only doing the inner and the outer corner. And I think my eyes already look a little bit messy. Now, with a different brown, I was using that. No, I was using that and now I'm gonna... No, I was using that and now I'm gonna use that. There's not that much of a difference, it's just a tiny little other brown. So, now, with that brown I'm going to mimic some frowns in the forehead. Because men do frown a lot more than women. Then, men, of course, are much darker than we are, and I do want to use a very stipply, stippling brush. A stippling brush 
has got these loose stipply things and I am going to try with that brown eyeshadow if I can yes indeed and men do have stipples what a face am I making <laughs> I'm really not pushing, I'm just tapping gently. Eyeshadow, no paint or anything, just eyeshadow. I know that my husband has that too. And then here. I'm throwing everything around again, like I always do. You gotta be so used to that for me. <laughs> if anyone ever saw me do makeup knows that I always drop everything, so... <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna need those real hairs. Because this is much easier for everybody to achieve. Now as you see, I'm doing that flaky. Not even, not pretty, but flaky. And now I'm going to take Hula Bronzer and do the same. Men that don't shave really have a hair shadow down to there. If not, the chest hair comes to the chin. That's enough of that. Now I am going to take black eyeshadow and go over too. But I don't know how hard that's gonna be giving effect. does give effect but not what I was expecting. I think a cream paint might be better for that. Okay, so I'm taking a cream paint. And I'm gonna try to really make little tips. I'm going kind of high because men do have these uh, sideburns and what I'm also going to do is make his, I don't know how it is in English but they do have a bump here and I'm dabbing just a bit black onto my eyelids too to make them not hairy but deeper and darker set and I'm also gonna tap a little bit of black around the hairline to blend it in more with the wig and then I can tap a little bit more out now this is a look that's very very easy very simple very short very fast to do all you need is a stippling brush and a couple of products now I'm gonna take the brown pencil and I'm gonna make a line just in the eye corners along the waterline but not really in the eye and I'm smudging a little bit of that brown on top of my eye because I don't want my lashes to be too visible I'm not making an eyeliner. You can make me some freckles. 
from the sun, you know. Now I do have to deepen out my eyes a lot more, so I'm taking my fluffy brush and I'm going back into the brown eyeshadow. And I'm mixing the two together this time. And I'm pressing that onto my eyelid very wildly. Now, what I am gonna do too is do like a blush, but of course for a man a blush is not gonna be as red as it is for someone else. So I'm taking a blush brush, which still contains a bit, and I'm just smacking that. And you see, I did clean it a little bit out. There. That's that. Now I'm a man. Now I gotta lower my voice a lot, because I'm a man now. But I can maybe do that with some trickage in my video program, I don't know. If I can't, I'll be a man with a very low female voice. Or I won't speak at all. <laughs> there, that's that. Now, I would really want to try a little bit of these hairs. So I'm gonna try it on my hand. I'm not gonna try it on the face, because this is already very... Great! I love it! And what I was gonna do is make this little thing here with hula bronzer and a blending brush. And then I'm taking a little bit of that brown eyeshadow, the darkest. I'm gonna leave it at that. A shadow is often enough to create a very big difference in a look. So now I'm taking a little bit of glue, a tiny little little touch of craft glue. I'm gonna put that on my hand. Just a drop. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm tabbing that open. And with that finger, I'm tabbing in that hair. Ah, uh, that is so gross. I'm rubbing this this hairball, and I'm tabbing on hairs onto that glue, and that freaking works. Oh my god, that works. It is so gross. Oh my god, that is gross, but it works. I'm gonna do that. I really am gonna do that on my face. Oh my. God, how am I even gonna, yeah. I, I see that my nurse is just here, so I am, before I'm gonna do that, put on my over cape, and then I will be back to glue on these hairs. So I will be back once I got my cape on and got injected by my nurse. Now, as you see, I have put on my special costume. It's just a top actually with ropes on the side, <laughs> cord on the side and a very big collar that you can put up almost like a cap but my hair is so heavy that it's not working now but normally you can put it up too but I'm letting it down and that wig I'm gonna leave it in a tail and wild bushy like it is. I saw in the big mirror right now that my eyes are way too feminine so I've got to darken up around my eyes a lot more but I hate it when weak hairs come and hang onto your eyes it's so freaking I don't like it, <laughs> it happens all the time Ugh, this freaks me out so badly but I am, I've promised that I'm gonna try and I will I will definitely scouts on her I wasn't a scout. Scout honor, I'm gonna try it. What I'm now first gonna do is take another makeup palette that also has matte browns but also darker browns like this here. And with that same fluffy brush that I was using I'm just gonna tab it and I'm gonna tab that on my eyes when they are closed preferably. <laughs> To make them much darker and more masculine. Oh 
also the crease upwards so that it's more hooded eye. That is much better, much more male, much more masculine. Now I'm going to put glue and I'm going to start on just one piece of my mustache. I'm going to put glue on the surface. <sighs> I'm opening the hair jar and I'm going to pull the hairs a little bit apart on that same surface so that it's not that one big clutter that it was in this jar but it's more a wild bushy bunch of hairs now as you can see I've made them <laughs> oh god why am I doing this so I am tapping my finger in the glue tapping it off next to it so that it's not too much and I'm Dabbing in the hairs. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Mm. It works. But why am I doing this? Oh. <laughs> so annoying. Mm. Oh. <laughs> really? It's. part is done above my mouth oh god the things I do for you mm. but it does look real <laughs> so real last piece around the mouth mm. Mm. okay <laughs> oh, oh. You will not see anything of that glue anymore in a moment. Now the cheeks. This is something that I'm not gonna do every year. Or ever again maybe. This is one of the grossest things I have ever done in makeup. Not open wounds. Not terrible, horrible things. But this. Because you gotta know this is real hair. And for some weird reason, it makes me think of pubic hair. And I don't know why. <laughs> It does really give a realistic sight. <laughs> Next time that I have to do this, remind me of the feeling that I'm feeling now in advance or let me buy hair pieces on lace that you can buy and stick onto your face without having to stick on real individual hairs. <laughs> Am I gonna be glad to take a shower today? I'm using up my last hairs, so this will have to do. Nope, not in the mouth. If that isn't realistic, then I don't know what realistic is. Because it is real hair. And the glue is drying very well, I must say. <sighs> I am getting a little bit used to the feeling because it's drying now, but it was so terrible. And it's 
sticking really good to the skin actually so all I have left now is black but I've got about four to five boxes of black but I only had one with brown and I am glad that it's used up now <laughs> what I'm gonna do because I cannot take it out I'm gonna put a little bit of brown pencil on my piercings Okay, this hunter has got a birth mark in the middle of his upper lip. What I am going to do to finish this off is make my cheeks less shimmery. They are allowed to be lighter, but they're glowing too much. So what I want to do is take face powder and with a tougher brush than I normally take, I'm gonna take my face powder and dab it. See the shine of the cheeks and the nose are less because I don't want highlights on a huntsman. And it matches the look a lot better. What I'm gonna do now is take my weapons, come back and then I'll be ready for my intro and outro. This is it. There's not more to do for a look like this. So if you get to do a lot of people with makeup, these looks are really very handy because you can do a lot of people in a short amount of time. So this is an idea. You don't have to use the real hairs <laughs> because as you saw it was not one of my favorite moments in my life but if you do it still goes very fast you just tap on glue tap on the hairs and you get a beard so what i'm now gonna do is get completely ready and my wig is even stuck in my beard <laughs> so this is the final result of me changing into a man with my bow, with my arrows, and my costume. And the fake hair on my face. No, the real hair on my face. I think I really look like a man. <laughs> I really want to thank you all for watching this tutorial with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, or I'll shoot you with a bow and arrow. <laughs> so, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some nice comments down below, give me some thumbs up. And for me, there's as always just one thing left to say, and that is, my love for makeup is shot all over you. And I really hope to see you again soon in one of the coming videos. And I hope you'll meet my younger sister. So for now, bye. Okay, you can go now. Bye. That failed. <laughs> Was it good like that? Did it do I have to do it again or can I go now? Because I'm hungry. I got a pig waiting in the forest. <laughs>